Hi everyone out there on YouTube, this is McCabe 871 with an update video for the OnScraft server. So yeah, you may not recognize where I'm standing right now, but I am right outside of the capital city in Haven and I just want to show off a few things that have been going on. And I'm also going to do a video of our old game map, what it looked like before we launched. So let's start off with the PvP arena that Griagar and that dude have been working on. So we're going to take a look at this. And this is one of the cool things coming up these days on the server. Oh, look at that. We got a McBlocks, fast food, got a weapon shop. And we're going to go down here and look at the main arena. Got some nice balcony seating, lighting coming from the roof. A, uh, I don't know what the purpose of this is. I think it's a potion dispenser of some sort. And you got your Resiquit light. There's four different starting areas, it looks like. Now, I don't know so much about this. I'll probably have uh, that dude come into a video and explain more about it. Got another light here. I don't know what's up with that. Place to put your personal belongings before you get butt whooped. And right here you got a door to the staircase that takes you up to the upper deck. All in all, very, very cool. I uh, love to see stuff like this. Alright, now we're going to warp and see what's going on in the capital. All right, now we're in the capital city. I'm going to do a quick time set. And this is the main capital city for our entire server. And I'm trying to do like a Washington, D.C. thing here. And I want other people, you know, different builders from the server to help out. So I'm issuing commissions to builders right now. And it, these are assignments they can take or deny. They don't have to do them. But a commission is basically where... I give you an assignment on something to build, say build a your version of this monument, I give you a plot to do it, and bam, you do it if you want to, and you'll get some recognition on it, get your name on it. Can't hurt you. <laughs> this is the Washington Monument here that uh, that dude did for me. Did a very nice job. This right here is the reflecting pool. I had a smaller one over on the other side of town, but I ripped it out in favor of this one. And right here is my version of the Lincoln Monument. It's not very good, but it's, it is what it is. It's the block monument to all the different blocks that come together to make this game great. This is my one and only attempt at pixel art other than my flag. And here I wrote this corny little thing up here. This monument stands as a reminder of the unity between the players, the blocks, and the world that make this game great and fun. Big things all come from many small. So yeah, there there you go. Got a little bit of glowstone in the floor. Glowstone's on the ceiling. Now, you might be wondering what this building here is. This building here is the National Museum of Server History. And is one of the first things built with quartz on the server. I love the new quartz block. It's... A lot nicer than using white wool for this stuff. Um, these little blocks around the bottom, I got to give credit to Kyle Kwai, 22 on that. He did an awesome job coming up with that idea. I never thought of that. That that was really cool of him. See, that's what I love to see, man. Everyone come together working on stuff. I haven't put anything in here yet, but yeah, I will. We're, I'm getting ready for the uh, end of May is our first anniversary of the server running, and that's going to be a pretty big server holiday. Probably a lot of stuff going on that day. Um, this is the administrative office. I finished up touches on this. And I'm probably going to do something to trim the building out, but I'm not worried about it right now. I added a powerhouse. I took it out of the mountain, put some space behind it, cleaned up the... Uh, cleaned up the rail tunnel going into it, make, made it look a little nicer. All right, 
let's go see what's going on in Fairhaven. And I got a type warp. Or it might help. Now, this is uh, Arsenal City, and he's dedicating it to his grandfather and family, which is nice thought. I've done a video on this before. This is the largest city on our server. It's the largest player made city on our server by far. And it's it's just massive. Um if you ever want to see it on a map, you should go to our website, which is awns.us and then click current world map and you can get a pretty good view of what it looks like. There's also a link on our engine page and I'll put a link in the description for you. Um, yeah, what, what I want to show you isn't so much in the city, but it's right outside of the city limits, right over the province line. I, start, and I apologize, taking a minute for this to load. The recording process kind of uh, takes a toll. So you can see here there's a wooden fence on the ground. That's the line between his land and what I ended up after surveying. Came out to be my land, but I gave him permission to build here. I'm dividing my land into counties. I'm working on that project. Um, it's going to be part of some changes coming up. Not going to say much more than that, but yeah, I gave him permission to build over here. Me, Arsenal, that dude, Grigar, and a few other people are all going to be forming a commission on the server to set different rules and standards for the rail system. Because going into Feed the Beast, that's going to be a big, big part of uh, that new server. So I'm hoping to have that launched by the end of the year, but this is just part of the work we're doing before it because this is going to be our map on Feed the Beast. So this is Arsenal's rail distribution area in East Fairhaven, Jamesland, if you want to know the province. Um, I can't really explain too much about what's going on over here. I'm going to have him come into a video when it's a little more close to being done. I mean, it's coming along really, really well, but as it comes close to being done, I'll have him come and explain how everything works. But all the rail lines on the server are going to connect here, and you'll be able to route yourself through here and end up in different cities and it's really going to be neat when it gets done but he's doing a fantastic job and this is a factory he wanted me to build so I built it it's just a little thing for feed the beast I got a redstone light array um, factory floor nothing nothing to write home about just simple little factory okay and the last thing I'm going to show you in the game is um or in this map is what I've done to my city alright now we're in Jamestown I'm adding a little bit more land I want to start having having a few guest builders here and I've got a few more things I want to build and I was running out of space so I built some nice riverfront property up here and I took the rail tunnel, which was kind of just jaggedly cut through here, and I stuck it underground, trying to neaten things up a little bit. See here. Oh, there's one more I didn't. I had a little bit of a world editing thing, and I didn't get all this stuff glowstoned. So, but you can see what's going on in here. Just a rail tunnel that goes underground instead of above ground. This is just part of the main rail line that the whole server, that many of the cities in the server are connected to. And right here is the river. I'm, it was originally just cut right through the river at ground level, making it innavigable to boats, so I moved it up so that if you want to go by boat, I don't know why you would, but if you want to, you now have that option. Because I'm all about options. And this is just going to be, I don't know what I'm going to put here. Um... You can see where I tried to blend it all in with a world edit brush. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put here, but I'll find something. So now I want to show you guys a special, special treat. But it requires us leaving the server and going to the single player. And we're going to go to the old world. Now this is what the world looked like before the server was started. Public. Which means before January 13, 2000. 
12, 11, no, 2013 we launched. And this is before World Edit. So everything you see here built was either built by hand or built by a technique called lava molding. And not very many people know too much about lava molding, but it's where you take a stone skeleton and pour lava around it. See the obsidian? That's from the lava pour. And then you pour water on top of that to solidify it. So these two buildings here we're looking at, these I lava molded a long time ago. But yeah, this is prehistoric Jamestown. This park here was where a lava molding experiment went really, really bad, and I ended up the land underneath it was so damaged from the excavation work I had to do to fix the remnant of the building that I ended up just covering it in bedrock and putting grass on top of it. Yeah, all this stuff was done by hand. Yeah, my night vision potion's wearing off. I've got to do one quick thing here to make this world usable for this video. All right, I basically just admin myself on the single player world. This is my house. It hasn't really changed much. Didn't know how to spawn trees back in the day, so I actually built the trees. Train station before renovations. And, uh, yeah, as you can see here, it's a lot different. This is before I changed all the biomes. I didn't know how to do that back in the day. We didn't have World Edit for a long time, so I didn't even know how good World Edit was until I started using it. This is a rail line. The one I just showed you, this is what it used to look like. I can't believe how different this looked, actually, going back and seeing what the world looked like. Um, there's no warps here, and there's no teleport blocks. So the only way to get where you want to go is to fly there, take a minecart there, which we're not going to do because I know you guys have other things to do other than watch me go in a minecart, or to teleport by coordinate. So I'm going to teleport by coordinate, but just to show you what I mean here about this is way, way, way back in the day. This was going to be a history museum before I turned it into a teleport hub. Honestly, this was just kind of an accidental room. It doesn't really fit into the train station. So we're going to teleport to Haven because that's the coordinates I know. All right. See, Haven has not changed much. There's been a few things Grigar added to it. Yeah, this is the capital city way before it was world edited. Right here would be where the monuments would be, the museum. This building was one of the first skyscraper, the first skyscraper I ever really attempted to build seriously. So that building hasn't changed much since it was put up. This right here is the old office. One of the first things I built on this server. And I built it in survival with the slash give command. So you can probably get from there the psychology of why I use gold blocks. Because I could. Because I could. The old signs. And I have a post on the engine page showing pictures from this too. The um, signs denoting what the offices are. This is my old office, one of the the only one preserved at the current building. Really basic. This is Brian's, or that Kaya seven thirteen, also known as Brian. He's my roommate in real life. And this was the mine shaft I built when I was playing survival. And really, the only things left from this building that apply to the new one is this warehouse which has been upgraded and the basement level that door was going to go to a upstairs that didn't fit in at the time notice how there's like no stone stairs there's a lower workshop 
a this was going to be a courthouse never really turned into that and the jail cells this is one of the first times I ever played with redstone the switch here opens and closes them all this stuff still exists in the capitol building this whole entire room but yeah that's, that's kind of what I want to show you guys just what the world looked like way way back in the olden days it's changed a lot since then. This is before Fairhaven, before... I think it was before... I know it's before Esmeralda was founded. I'm going to take a quick look and see if Peppy the Sheep's here. The old train line to Haven. That's no longer in use. Actually, the, the train lines are generally no longer in use. <laughs> this stuff all took a really long time to do even in creative but it didn't seem like a long time because creative seemed a lot faster than survival and then you find out about world and you're like what have I been doing with my life yep Pepe the sheep is still here and it's covered in cows how did that happen let's see if Flymaster Crom's island is still there is even here because I, I looked at the modification dates on these files and they date back to September so I don't know what to tell you there it probably is from September this here is Flymaster Crumbs Island I don't think we have a more complicated name for it than that. And here's what his house looked like when he first got onto the server. Now it's a lot different. And that should be in a video too. Okay everyone, thanks for wasting some time with me, checking out some things. Nice to have you. Um, I'm going to be posting more updates as time goes on. But I just wanted to show you guys what's going on and keep you in the loop. This is Jamie Cave 871 out.